Moin. Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's service video series for automotive mechanics. In them you'll learn how to change timing belts on a wide range of vehicle engines. Simply, safely and quickly. The videos show the key working steps for workshop pros. They might take a few minutes, but it's worth staying with them. You'll more than make up this time later on when fitting the belt and any other necessary components. My name is Stefan Meyer, and in each video I'll show you a different vehicle engine. So let's take a look now at today's subject. Today I've got a Fiat Punto engine for you, a 2003 1.2-liter 44 kilowatt with engine code 188 A4.000. For this engine you need our CT999WP1 water pump kit and also our BTTHZ belt tension tester as the special tool for setting the belt tension. I've already prepared this engine in advance. Before you can start, you need to remove the engine mount, the upper and lower timing belt guards and the crankshaft sprocket. There are two points to watch out for when setting TDC. First, there is a notch at the bottom of the crankshaft at about 7 o'clock and higher up at 9 o'clock a notch and each of them must align with the groove in the part behind. The marks are now correctly set and aligned. Now you can loosen the tensioning pulley nut and then release the tension in the timing belt before removing it. OK, the timing belt has now been removed. Before starting to change components, please remember we haven't fitted any locking tools in this engine. So be careful that you don't accidentally change the position of the timing gear. Guys, take care again here. We have a water pump here with which we don't use any seals. This water pump is sealed using a special sealant. Please use the sealant in accordance with the manufacturer's specifications. In other words, only apply a thin bead to this seam. Please don't apply a bead as thick as your thumb. If you do that, the sealant could become detached and end up in the cooling system where it could cause blockages. Another point to note is that once you've applied the sealant bead and fitted the pump, you need to leave the water pump to stand completely undisturbed for at least an hour. By that I mean don't fill the system with any water or apply any tension to it via the belt. If you were to ignore this, you might find that the water pump is leaking the next day. The new components from the kit have now been fitted. When changing the belt, please note that it is direction specific and has two timing marks on it. The two marks must align with the marks that we set earlier via the timing gear. It's now time to tension the belt. For this you need our BTTHZ and a tensioning lever, which is contained in our toolbox VO2. To set the tension we need two measurement points. We have one measurement point opposite the water pump and the other opposite the tensioning pulley. These two values have to be added together. The sum must be in the range between 160 and 210. When using our belt tension tester, it's essential to ensure that you position only one microphone approximately one to two centimeters above the belt surface. Doing it any other way would not give us a meaningful measurement result. With this engine I always set the tension such that I have a reading of approximately 80 to 90 Hz opposite the tensioning pulley. When added to the reading from the other side, this gives the appropriate result. Now you have to check the timing belt tension. To do so, turn the engine over through two revolutions, set the timing gear again and check both measurement points again. OK, you're almost there. You now just have to complete the engine. Please follow the manufacturer's specifications carefully, especially the torques. Remember, take it gently. Place our change sticker in a clearly visible location in the engine compartment. Thank you.